The Shara dynasty was one of the principal lineages in the early history of the present-day states of Kerala and Tamil Nadu and Union Territory of Puducherry in southern India. Together with the Cholas of Uraiyur and the Pandyas of Madurai, the early Cheras were known as one of the three major political powers of ancient Tamilakam southern India in the early centuries of the Common Era, the Cheras owed their importance to exchange of spices and other products with the Middle Eastern and Mediterranean Greco-Roman merchants. The geographical advantages, like the favourable monsoon winds which carried ships directly from the Arabia to southern India as well as the abundance of exotic spices in the interior Ghat Mountains and the presence of a large number of rivers connecting the Ghats with the Arabian Sea combined to make the Cheras a major power in ancient southern India, along with the I Vels in the south and the Easy Himala Mashakas in the north, the early Cheras formed the three principal ruling polities of ancient Kerala. The age and antiquity of the Cheras is difficult to establish. The exact location of the Shara homeland is also a matter of scholarly debate. The early Cheras of the early historical period early centuries of the Common Era are known to have established bases at various locations such as Vanshi, Karuvor, Muchiri and Thandi among others. After the end of the early historical period, around the 5th century CE, there seems to be a period where the Chera's power declined considerably. The anthology Early Tamil Poems known as the Sangam the Academy literature mentions the names of a number of Cheras, and the court poets who extolled them. The Pathatrupathu is devoted exclusively to the Chera royals. The internal chronology of this collection is still far from completely settled and a connected account of the history of the period is an area of active research. Uthian Cheral, Nedam Cheral Athan and Chengatuvan are some of the rulers referred to in the Tamil literature. Chengatuvan Chera, the most renowned of the early Cheras, is also famous for the tradition surrounding Kanaki, the principal female character of the Tamil epic poem Chilapathakaram. Other sources for the early Cheras include Tamil Brahmi cave label inscriptions and coins, classical Sanskrit works and accounts by Greco-Roman writers. The Kongu Cheras are also known to have controlled Karavanshi in central Tamil Nadu at various points in time. The Cheras of Makotai, Kulsakaras former Muchiri, modern Kodungalar were in power between c. 9th and 12th century in Kerala. The exact nature of the relationships between the various lines of Chera rulers is somewhat unclear. It is known that the Cheras were intermittently subject to the Pandya Kingdom and the Chola Empire among others. The rulers of Vanadu, based out of the port of Kolam in southern Kerala, claimed their ancestry from the Kodungalar Cheras. Ravi Varma Kalasakara, their most ambitious ruler, set out to expand his kingdom by annexing the ruins of the other southern kingdoms. In the modern period the rulers of Cochin and Travancore in Kerala also claimed the title, Shara. Etymology The term Shara, and its variant form, Kerala, stands for the ruling lineage and the country associated with them. The etymology of Shara is still a matter of considerable speculation among historians. One approach proposes that the word is derived from Cheral, a corruption of Keral meaning, declivity of a mountain, in Tamil, suggesting a connection with the mountainous geography of Kerala. Another theory argues that the Cheralam is derived from share sand and a lamb region, literally meaning the slushy land. Quote dot. Apart from the speculations mentioned, a number of other theories do appear in historical studies. In ancient non Tamil sources, the Cheras are referred to by various names. The Cheras are referred as Kedalaputo, Sanskrit, Kerala Putra. In the Emperor Ashoka's Pali Edicts 3rd century BCE. While Pliny the Elder and Claudius Ptolemy refer to the Cheras as Kalobotros and Karabatros respectively, the Greco-Roman trade map Peri plus Maris Erythrae refers to the Cheras as Keprobatras. All these Greco-Roman names are evidently corruptions of Kadala Puto, Kerala Putra, probably received through relations with northern India. The term Cheralamdivu or Charan Tivu and its cognates, meaning the island of the Shara kings, is a classical Tamil name of Sri Lanka that takes root from the term Shara. History <laughs> 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 
Cheras of ancient South India Recent theories on ancient South Indian history suggest that the three major rulers, the Pandya, the Shara and the Chola, based at their original bases in the interior Tamil Nadu namely Madurai, Karur, Vanshi, and Uraiyur respectively, had established a «strategic outlets» to the Indian Ocean namely Korkai, Muchiri Muziris, and Kaveri Pumpatanam respectively. Territory of the Shara Kingdom of the early historical period consisted of the present-day Palakkad, Thrissur and Malappuram districts of Kerala and the Coimbatore, Tirukchirappalli and Salem districts of Tamil Nadu. The Cheras are referred as Kedalaputo Sanskrit, Kerala Putra, in the Emperor Ashoka's Pali Edicts, 3rd century BCE. The earliest Greco-Roman accounts referring to the Cheras are by Pliny the Elder in the 1st century CE, in the Periplus of the 1st century CE, and by Claudius Ptolemy in the 2nd century CE. Greeks and Romans are called Yuvanas. In early Indian literature, a number of Sanskrit works does mention the family and land of the Cheras, Keralas. Whether the particular references were present in the earliest oral forms or were added subsequently is a matter of considerable discourse. The present form of Aetherea Aranyaka notes the Charapada as one of the three peoples who did not follow some ancient injunctions. The Aranyakas are a later development of the Brahmanas explanations of the Vedas, which were originally composed c. 7th-8th century BCE. There are also brief references in the present forms of the works by author and commentator Kathyana c. 3rd-4th century BCE, author and philosopher Pathanjali c. 2nd century BCE and Maurya statesman and philosopher Kautilya c. 3rd-4th century BCE though Sanskrit grammarian Panini c. 6th-5th century BCE does not mention either the people or the land. A large body of Tamil works collectively known as the Sangam the Academy literature c. 1st-4th century Century CE describes a number of Shara, Pandya, and Chola rulers. Among them, the most important sources for the Cheras are the Pathatrupathu, the Akananaru, and the Purananaru. The Pathatrupathu, the fourth book in the Etuthakai anthology, mentions a number of rulers and heirs apparent of the Shara family. Each ruler is praised in ten songs sung by a court poet. However, the book is not worked into connected history and settled chronology so far. Uthian Cheral, Nedam Cheral Athan and Chengatuvan are some of the rulers referred to in the Tamil literature. A method, known as Gajabahu Chengatuvan synchronism, is used by some historians to date the events described in the early Tamil literature to the c. 1st-2nd century CE. Despite its dependency on numerous conjectures, the method is considered as the sheet anchor for the purpose of dating the events in the early Tamil literature. Ilango Adigal author of the legendary Tamil epic poem Chilapathakaram describes Chengatuvan as his elder brother. He also mentions Chengatuvan's decision to propitiate a temple for the goddess Patini at Vanshi. A certain king called Gajabahu, often identified with Gajabahu, king of Sri Lanka 2nd century CE, was present at the Patini festival at Vanshi. In this context, Chengatuvan can be dated to either the first or last quarter of the 2nd century CE. <laughs> Archaeological discoveries Archaeology has found epigraphic and numismatic evidence of the early Cheras. Two almost identical inscriptions discovered from Pugalar near Karur dated to the c. 1st-2nd century CE, describe three generations of Shara rulers of the Irumpurai clan. They record the construction of a rock shelter for Jains on the occasion of the investiture of Ilam Kadungo, son of Param Kadungo, and the grandson of Ko Athan Cheral Irumpurai. A short Tamil Brahmi inscription, containing the word, Shara was found at Edakal in the Western Ghats, an ancient trade route, from coastal settlements in Kerala such as Muchiri or Thandi through the Palghat Gap to Karur in interior Tamil Nadu can be traced with the help of archaeological evidence. Historians are yet to precisely locate Muziris, known in Tamil as Muchiri, a base of the Shara rulers. Archaeological excavations at Patanam near Cochin suggest a strong case of identification of the location. Roman coins have over a period of time been discovered in large numbers from Kerala and the Coimbatore Karur region from locations such as Khatiyam Kanur, Valavali, Iyyal, Velalar, and Katakani. A number of coins, assumed to be of the Cheras, mostly found in the Amaravathi riverbed, are a major source early Shara historiography. 
This include a number of punch-marked coins discovered from Amaravathi riverbed. The issuing of punch-marked coins were followed by square coins of copper and its alloys or silver. Most of these early square coins show a bow and arrow, the traditional emblem of the cheras, on the obverse with or without any legend. A copper coin, with a bow and arrow, elephant goad, and elephant, was discovered from Patanam in central Kerala. A bronze die for minting punch marked coins was discovered from the riverbed in Karar. Other discoveries include a coin with a portrait and the legend, Mak Kotai, above it, and another one with a portrait and the legend, Kutuvan Kotai, above it. Both impure silver coins are tentatively dated to c. 1st century CE or a little later. The reverse side of both coins are blank. The impure silver coins bearing the legend, Kalapurai, and Kol Irumpurai was also discovered from Karar. All legends, assumed to be the names of the Shara rulers, were in Tamil Brahmi characters on the obverse. The macro-analysis of the Mak Kotai coin shows close similarities with the contemporary Roman silver coin. A silver coin with the portrait of a person wearing a Roman-type bristled crown helmet was also discovered from Amaravathi riverbed in Karar. Reverse side of the coin depicts a bow and arrow, the traditional symbol of the Shara family. Topic. Major cheras according to the early Tamil literature Uthian Cheral Athan, earliest known ruler of the Shara family, Uthian Cheral was also known as Vanavarumban Cheral Athan. His headquarters was at Kuzumar in Kutanad. He is sometimes identified with the Shara ruler who prepared food for the warring cousins at Kurukshetra war in the epic Mahabharata in the Battle of Veni, Uthian Cheral was wounded on the back by the Chola ruler Karakala. Unable to bear the disgrace, the Shara committed suicide by slow starvation. Nedam Cheral Athan, Amayavarumban. Nedam Cheral Athan, son of Uthian Cheral Athan, is the hero of the second decade of Pathatrupathu, which was composed by the poet Kananur. In the poems, Nedam Cheral Athan is praised for having subdued seven crowned kings to achieve the title of Adiraja. With characteristic exaggeration, Kananur also lauds the Shara for conquering foes from Kumari to the Himalayas. Nedam Cheral Athan, famous for his hospitality, gifted Kananur with a part of Umbarkatu. The greatest of his enemies were the Kadambas whom he defeated in battles. He also attacked Yavana ships and held Yavana traders ransom. Nedam Cheral Athan was killed in a battle with a Chola ruler. The Chola is also said to have been killed by a spear thrown at him by Nedam Cheral Athan. Subsequently both queens performed sati in respect of their husbands. Palyani Sel Kelu Kutuvan, son of Uthian Cheral Athan. Credited as the conqueror of Kongu, hero of the third decade by Palaik Kathamanar. Kalankakani Narmudi Cheral, hero of the fourth decade by Kapiyatuku Kapiyanar, led an expedition against the Adagaman Anji of Tagadar. Initially defeated by Nanan of Ezihimala in the Battle of Pazi, later defeated and killed Nanan in the Battle of Vikai Param Turai. Chengatuvan, identified with Kadal Pirakotia, Vel Kezu Kutuvan, son of Nedam Cheral Athan, celebrated by poet Parinur in the fifth decade, ascended to the Shara throne after the death of his father. Vel Kezu Kutuvan is often identified with the legendary Chengatuvan Shara, the most illustrious ruler of the early Cheras. Under his reign, the Shara territory extended from Kalamalai near Karavanshi in the east to Thandi and Mantai Kerala on the western coast. The wife of Chengatuvan was Ilango Venmal, the daughter of a Valir chief. In the early years of his rule, the Kutuvan successfully intervened in a succession dispute in the Chola territory and established his relative Kili on the Chola throne. The rivals of Kili were defeated in the Battle of Naravale, Uraiyur. The Kadambas are described as the arch enemies of the Shara ruler. Kutuvan was able to defeat them in the Battle of Idumbal, Valayar. The fort of Kadakor, in which the Kadamba warriors took shelter, was stormed. Later, the Kadambas helped by the Yavanas attacked Kutuvan by sea, but the Shara ruler destroyed their fleet. Kutuvan is said to have defeated the Kongu people and a warrior called Mogur Manan. Adu Kotu Cheral Athan, successor of Vel Kezu Kutuvan, hero of the sixth decade by poetess Kakaipadiniar Nishelayar. Selva Kadumko Valia Athan, Selva Kadumko Valia Athan was the son of Anthavan Cheral and the hero of the seventh set of poems composed by Kapilar. His residence was at the city of Thandi. He married the sister of the wife of Nedam Cheral Athan. 
Selva Kadumko defeated the combined armies of the Pandyas and the Cholas. He is sometimes identified as the Ko Athan Cheryl Irumpurai mentioned in the Aranatar Malai inscription of Pugalar c. 2nd century CE. Param Cheryl Irumpurai Tagadar Arinta. Param Cheryl Irumpurai defeated the combined armies of the Pandyas, Cholas and that of the chief of Tagadar. Celebrated by poet Arichal Kizar in the 8th decade. He captured Tagadar which was ruled by the powerful ruler Adagaman Ezhni. He is also called the Lord of Pujinadu and the Lord of Kalamalai and the Lord of Pum Pahar. Pahar was the Chola headquarters. Param Cheryl Irumpurai also annexed the territories of a minor chief called Kaluval. Ilam Cheryl Irumpurai praised in the 9th decade by Purunkuntar Kizar Ilam Cheryl Irumpurai defeated the Pandyas and the Cholas and brought immense wealth to his base Vanshi. Yanikatchai Mantaran Cheryl Irumpurai Mantaran Cheryl Irumpurai ruled from Kalamalai near Karur Vanshi in the east to Thandi and Mantai on the western coast. He defeated his enemies in a battle at Vilamkal. The famous Pandya ruler Nedam Cheshan early 3rd century CE captured Mantaran Cheryl as a prisoner. However, he managed to escape and regain the lost territories. Kanaikal Irumpurai Kanaikal Irumpurai is said to have defeated a chief called Muvan and imprisoned in him. The Shara then brutally pulled out the teeth of the prisoner and planted them on the gates of the city of Thandi. Upon capture by the Chola ruler Senganan Kanaikal committed suicide by starvation. Cheras in medieval period After the end of the early historical period, c. the 5th century CE, there seems to be a period where the Shara family's political prestige and influence declined considerably. It is possible that with the decline of the Roman trade in the 5th century, there was corresponding fall in the stature of the Cheras. The Cheras of the early historical period had an important base at Karur, probably same as the early Tamil literature age Vanshi itself, in central Tamil Nadu. Gradually towards the end of the early historical period, Karur seems to have acquired much prominence. By the 8th-9th centuries it came to be known as Vanshi Karur. Little is known for certain about the Shara family during this period. Tradition tells that the Calabra Kalvar rulers kept the Shara, Chola and Pandya rulers in their confinement. The Calabras were marginalized c. the 5th century by the rise of the Chalukyas and the Pallavas. The Rashtrakutas were other major power in southern India. They all claim to have overrun the Cheras, Keralas. A number of inscriptions mentions their victories over the king of Shara country. Small buffer polities, such as that of the I Vels, oscillated their allegiance in this period between major rulers. By the 7th and the 8th centuries, large portions of southern India was under the control of the Pallava and Pandya rulers. It is likely that the surviving Shara, Kerala royals were the vassals of the Pallavas, and the Pandyas. Several inscriptions of the Kongu Cheras, i.e., Cheras ruling from Karur, in copper and stone, mostly placed between 9th and 10th centuries, are found in central Tamil Nadu. This line of kings was increasingly coming under the Pandya influence and a new Shara kingdom Kalasakara was taking shape in modern Kerala. Cheras of Karur are described as members of the Chandraditya Kula. Kalasakaras, Kodungalar Cheras generally describes themselves as members of Surya Vamsha. It is innocuous to conclude that by 8th century CE, the old Shara territory was split into two separate kingdoms, one based at Karur in central Tamil Nadu and the other one based at Kodungalar in Kerala. Royal inscriptions and temple grants, the major source of information about the rulers of this period, obnoxiously refer both clans as the Cheras, Keralas. Identification of the Cheras in each record is a matter of major scholarly discourse. The exact nature of the relation between the Cheras of Kongu and the Kalasakaras, Cheras of Kodungalar remains obscure. <laughs> Kodungalar Cheras, Kalasakaras A line of rulers, described in royal charters and temple inscriptions as the Shara kings, are known to have ruled what is now Kerala between c. 9th and 12th century AD. The base of their rule was the city of Makotai, Vanshi Sanskrit, Mahodayapura, modern Kodungalar. The history of Kerala during this period is an active area of scholarly research and debate. 
Historians tend to identify Nayanar Saint Cherman Perumal and Alwar Saint Kalasakara Alwar with some of the earliest rulers of this kingdom. The nature of Kalasakara state is an ongoing academic discourse. An earlier version of historiography had believed that this Second Shara Empire or Kalasakara Empire was a highly centralized kingdom. However, critical research in the late 1960s and early 1970s offered a major corrective to this. Recently, suggestions pointing to the other extreme, that the king at Kodungalar had only a ritual sovereignty, and the actual political power rested with a bold and visible Brahmin oligarchy, has emerged. While the earlier model of a highly centralized empire is considered not acceptable by historians, the third model is yet to be endorsed by them. The Cheras of Kodungalar were intermittently subject to the Pandyas and the Chola Empire. They strategically fought battles and formed alliances with the Pandyas and the Cholas. The Shara kingdom was eventually dissolved in 12th century, and most of its autonomous chiefdoms became independent. Vanadu in southern Kerala was one of these daughter states. In the modern period the rulers of Cochin and Travancore in Kerala also claimed the title, Shara. <laughs> End of Kodungalur Shara dynasty The Villavar Tamil Shara dynasty came to an end in 1102 following an attack of a Tulu invader called Kalasakara 1102 AD and his successor Banapramal 1120 AD. Keralalpathy mentions that a Tulu invader called Banapramal who was the brother of Tulu king Kavi Raja Singan Kavi Alupendra 1110-1170 AD of Alupas Pandyan kingdom of Tulunadu with a large Nair army commanded by Pada Mala Nair. Banapramal became the king of all Kerala for a brief period for 36 years 1120-1156 AD and established his capital at Valapatanam near Kannur. This Tulu Banapramal is otherwise called Pali Banapramal and also known as Last Cheraman Perumal in Kerala legends. After executing his general Pada Mala Nair facing opposition from his own army Banapramal who had the support of Arabs surrendered and left for Arabia. His son was Karipathu Kovalahathu Udayavarman Kolathiri who was called according to Keralalpathi as Cheraman Vidakan Perumal. The Kolathiri dynasty started by the Tulu Bana rulers were supported by Brahmins and Naga armies from Ahichatra who had been brought to Kadamaba dynasty by King Myraverma in 345 AD to fight Tamil Villavar Shara dynasty. Kalasakara title was used by Villavar earlier Tamil Villavar kings of Shara dynasty as well as Tulu Alupas Bana invaders used Kalasakara title. Tulu Bana rulers were supported by Ahichatram Brahmins and Tulu Bunt community subgroups such as Nayara Marnava Karuba and Samantha controlled northern Kerala with capital at Vallapattinam near Kannur. Facing opposition from the Tulu invaders the Tamil Kodungalur Shara dynasty was shifted to Kolam where the Shara dynasty merged with the I kingdom forming the Shara I dynasty who ruled Vinad from 1102 to 1314. Topic: <laughs> Vinadu Cheras, late medieval to early modern. When the Kodungalar Shara Kalasakara kingdom was eventually dissolved in 12th century, most of its autonomous chiefdoms including Vinad became independent. The rulers of Vinadu, based out of the port of Kolam in southern Kerala, claimed their ancestry from the Kodungalar Cheras. The Vinad rulers had an oscillating relationship with their powerful eastern neighbours, the Pandyas of Madurai. With Kolathanadu in northern Kerala, it remained the most significant kingdom in Kerala till the emergence of the Zamorans of Kori Kod. Ravi Varma Kalasakara, the most ambitious ruler of Kolam, carried out a successful military expedition to Pandya and Chola lands in the early 14th century AD. <laughs> Pandyan rule of Kerala After the fall of Kodungalur Shara dynasty the Pandyan dynasty became the rulers of Kerala in the 12th century. The Vinad's Shara I dynasty became a vassal of the Pandyan dynasty as the whole of Kerala was under Pandya ruler Maravarman Sundara Pandyan and his successors. The Vinad Cheras had marital relationships with the Pandyan dynasty as both were Tamil kingdoms. Pandyan rule over whole of Kerala ended after the Pandyan defeat at the hands of Malik Kafir of the Delhi Sultanate in 1310 AD. 
After this period all Tamil dynasties came to an end and replaced by matrilineal Tulu dynasties originating from Kolathiri kingdom of Kolathanadu. The last Tamil ruler of Vinad was Veera Udaya Marthanda Varma with the title Veera Pandyan son of Ravivarman Kalasakara was forced to abdicate in favour of two Tulu princesses from Kolathiri kingdom called Atingal and Kunamel Rainis whose sons became the kings of Vinad after 1314 AD. Tulu Nepalese rule of Kerala The Tulu migration to Kerala will change the culture and language after 1310 AD. Nairs mentioned in Barker inscriptions and in Tulunadu Gramapadhati as residents of Tulunadu were last mentioned in the early 14th century from an inscription of Alupa's kingdom. Tulu script, script was used by the ruling Tulu aristocracy eventually replacing the Malayalam writing system. Sanskrit Hindi and Nepalese words will be incorporated into the Malayalam language. Matriarchy polyandry and matrilineal succession came to Vinad after this period. The Tulu Kshatriyas, Brahmins and Sudras occupied much higher position than indigenous Malayalis after 1310. Tulu Bana Kshatriya dynasty freely mixed with Ahichatram Brahmins and Nairs resulting a ruling aristocracy of Brahmin Swarupams and an elevated class of Nairs called Samanthan Nairs. The support of European colonial rulers made them very powerful in Kerala. <inaudible> Vinad after 1314 Vinad's Tamil Villavar Shara dynasty was replaced by a Tulu dynasty started by Atingal Rani and Kunamel Rani in 1314 AD. The first matrilineal king to come to power in Vinad was Kunamel Aditya Varma in 1335. This matrilineal Tulu dynasty in which after a king his sister's son became the king continued until a rival dynasty with old Tamil links called Jayasimavamsham was formed which ruled from southern Tamil Nadu at Kalakad, Ambasamudram, Charanmadevi, Kaladikarichi was formed. These kings between 1444 to 1575 married among old Tamil dynasties. After the arrival of Portuguese the European colonial rulers strongly supported the Tulu Nepalese kingdoms, spice trade and modern weapons provided by the Europeans strengthened the Tulu dynasties in Kerala. The Tulu Atingal Swarupam, Kunamel Swarupam and Parakthavesi of Netamingad were strengthened by the adoption of princes and princesses from Kolathiri Kingdom and Kochi Kingdom. The rulers of Kolathiri Kochi and Samuthiri Kingdoms were formed by the mixture of Nambuthiri Brahmins with the Bana Kshatriya. Tirumalpad Nambiadri and Pandurathal were the titles of Brahmin rulers of Kochi and Kori Kode. During the Portuguese rule in 1575 Vinad adopted many princes from the Kolathunad and from the Velarapali Kovilakam which was a Brahmin dynasty. A Brahmin dynasty was established in Vinad, the kings were called Pandurathal and queens were called Nambaratiyar. The Brahmin Nambaratiyar dynasty ruled Vinad between 1610 to 1696. Atingal queens were Nambaratiyar in that period. Though these Brahmin kings brought the practice of adding birth star to their names. This Brahmin dynasty was opposed by the Velala mixed Nair warlords called Etuvital Pilamar who preferred Parakatavazi of Netamingad. Umayama Rani the last ruler of the Nambaratiyar dynasty facing opposition from Etuvital Pilamar brought more of Brahmin Pandurathal princes from the Velarapali Kovilakam from Kochi as well she brought princes and princesses sons of Itamar Raja of Baipur who were part of the Pali Kovilakam a branch of Kolathiri kingdom. Umayama Rani was supported by the British East India Company. Rama Varma of Vinad was the first ruler of this dynasty followed by Marthanda Varma supported by British. Travancore kingdom established by Marthanda Varma used the Kadamba insignia of Konk and Wheel which were originally the insignia of the Kadamaba dynasty of Karnataka. Though Vinad kings after 1310 ad called themselves Kalasakaras they are not ethnically related to Tamil Villavar Kalasakara Shara dynasty. The Tulu kings promoted Grantha Malayalam, a highly Sanskritized form of Malayalam written with Tulu Tigalari script. The language of Western Tamils of Shara dynasty, the Malayalam Tamil Malayan Malingua Malabar Tamul, was replaced to Grantha Malayalam in the 19th century when the European missionaries started promoting this language. Most of the indigenous Dravidian Malayalis including Villavars who once ruled Kerala were the slaves of this northern regime until independence. The rulers of Vinad owed their importance to exchange of spices and other products with the Middle Eastern and Chinese merchants. 
Venetian adventurer Marco Polo claimed to have visited Vinad capital Kolom, a major centre of commerce and trade with East and West Asia. European colonizers arrived at Kolom the late 15th century, primarily in pursuit of the Indian spices and textiles. In Vinad royal family, like most of other royal houses in Kerala, law of succession followed was based on matrilineal inheritance. The eldest son of the sister of the ruling king, not his own son, had the legal right to ascend the throne after the death of the king. In the modern period, the rulers of Vinad paid an annual tribute to the rulers of Madurai. By this time, the old state of Vinad was divided into several autonomous collateral branches such as Tripapur Travancore, Alayadathu, Kadarakara, Desinganad Kolam, and Paraka Thavazi In the 18th century, Marthanda Varma of the Tripapur Travancore, successfully developed the state of Travancore. Varma routed all of Major Nair nobles in Travancore, organized a standing army, defeated most of the chiefdoms in central Kerala, entered into strategic alliances with Europeans, supported Kerala traders in the place of the Europeans, and eventually formed one of the first modern states of southern India. In the modern period the rulers of Travancore also claimed the title, Shara. <laughs> Government. The extent and nature of state formation of the Shara kingdoms, from ancient period to early modern period, cannot be interpreted neither in a linear nor in a monochromatic way. Each ruling family had its own political prestige and influence in southern India over their life spans. The extent of political formation in the early historical southern India was a matter of considerable debate among historians. Although earlier historians visualized early historical polities as full-fledged kingdoms, some of the recent studies rule out the possibility of state formation. According to historian Rajan Garukal, the ancient South India was a combination of several unevenly evolved and kinship-based redistributive economies of chiefdoms. These polities were structured by the dominance of agro-pastoral means of subsistence and predatory politics. Kesavan Velathat, another prominent historian of South India, uses the term chief and chiefdom for the Shara ruler and Shara polity of the early historical South India respectively. Reaching any conclusions based on the early Tamil poems and archaeological evidences is another topic disagreement. It is assumed that the institution of Sabha in South Indian villages, for local administration, was first surfaced during the early historical period. Topic. Economy The early Shara economy can be described as a predominantly pastoral cum agrarian based system. The emphasis on agriculture increased with time, and provided base for larger economic change. Topic. Spice trade Indian Ocean spice trade with the Yuvanas, and trade with the North India provided considerable economic momentum for Shara polity. Overseas trade was the major economic activity. There is some difference of opinion with regard to the nature of the spice trade in ancient Shara territories. It is disputed whether this trade with the Mediterranean world was managed on equal terms by the Tamil merchants. In view of the existence of apparently unequal political institutions in the South India and in view of the insufficient amount of Tamil coinage to match the gold standards of the Mediterranean coins, Shara spice exchange with the Middle Eastern and Mediterranean Greco-Roman navigators can be traced back to before the Common Era and was substantially consolidated in the early years of the Common Era. In the first century of the Common Era, the Romans conquered Egypt, which helped them to establish dominance in the Indian Ocean spice trade. The earliest Greco-Roman accounts referring to the Cheras are by Pliny the Elder in the first century CE, in Periplus Maris Erythrae of the first century CE, and by Claudius Ptolemy in the second century CE. The Periplus Maris Erythrae portrays the trade in the territory of Keprobatras in detail. Muziris Tamil, Muchiri, was the most important centre in the Malabar coast, which according to the Peri Plus, abounded with large ships of Romans, Arabs and Greeks. Bulk spices, ivory, timber, pearls and gems were exported from the Shara region to the Middle East and Mediterranean kingdoms. It is known that the Romans brought vast amounts of gold in exchange for black pepper. This is testified by the Roman coin hoards that have been found in various parts of Kerala and Tamil Nadu. 
Pliny the Elder, in the 1st century CE, laments about the drain of Roman gold into India and China for luxuries such as spices, silk and muslin. The spice trade across the Indian Ocean dwindled with the decline of the Roman Empire in the c. 3rd-4th centuries CE. With the exit of the Mediterraneans in the spice trade, their space was picked up by the Chinese and Arab navigators. Society and culture <inaudible> Early Cheras In general early Tamil literature reflect the Dravidian cultural tradition as well as elements of the arrival of the northern Indian, Sanskritic cultural tradition, which by now was beginning to come into contact with the Tamilakam. It is logical to conclude that most of the Shara population followed native Dravidian religions. Religious practice consisted predominantly in conducting sacrifices to various gods, such as to the preeminent god Murugan. The worship of departed heroes was also a common practice in the Shara territory, along with tree worship and other kinds of ancestor worship. The war goddess Kotavai was propitiated with elaborate offerings of meat and toddy. It is theorized that Kotavai was assimilated into the present-day form of the goddess Durga. It is thought that the first wave of Brahmin migration came to the Shara territory around the 3rd century BCE with or behind the Jain and Buddhist missionaries. It was only in the c. 8th century CE that the Aryanization of the Shara country reached its organized form. Though the vast majority of the population followed native Dravidian practices, a small percentage of the population, mainly migrants, followed Jainism, Buddhism and Brahmanism. These three philosophies came from regions in northern India to the Shara territory. Populations of Jews and Christians were also known to have lived in Kerala. Early Tamil literature does make a number of references to social stratification, as expressed by use of the word kudi group to denote caste. A striking feature of the social life of the early historical period is the high status accorded to women. Agriculture and pastoralism were the primary occupations of the people. Various agricultural occupations such as harvesting, threshing and drying are described in the early Tamil literature. Poets and musicians were held in high regard in society. Early Tamil literature is full of references about the lavish patronage extended to court poets. There were professional poets and poetesses who composed poems praising their patrons and were generously rewarded for this. Kodungalar Cheras A cultural identity different from the Tamil-speaking people in the east of western Ghat Mountains gradually emerged in Kerala in the medieval period. Oldest forms of Malayalam language also are attested in the era of Kalasakaras. Organized forms of Nambuthiri Brahmin influence in all aspects of life in Kerala also emerged during this period. A new calendar system, known as Kolam era, is also seen in medieval Kerala. The famous Advaita philosopher, Shankara, was born at Kaladi on the banks of Periyar. A multicultural and multi-ethnic society, with the presence of Jews, Christians, and Muslims, coexisted in relative peaceful conditions in Kerala. Several notable literary works in Sanskrit and Tamil were composed during this period under the patronage of the Shara rulers who themselves indulged in authoring several works. Kodungalar was centre of learning and science in medieval period. An observatory functioned at the capital under the charge of Shankara Narayana c. 840 c. 900 AD, an astronomer in the court of Shara King Stanu Ravi. Narayana is the author of Lagu Bhaskariya Vyaha, a commentary on the works of Bhaskara I early 6th century AD, a disciple of the famous polymath Aryabhata himself. We can find references to an instrument called Rashi Chakra, marked by a Yantra Vilaya. In Lagu Bhaskari of Yaha. This instrument might be the same as the Gola Yantra or Chakra Yantra mentioned by Aryabhata. The Chakra Yantra was developed further and called Falaka Yantra by Bhaskara I. It seems that arrangements had been made in the city for recording correct time and announcing it to the public from different centers by the tolling of bells at regular intervals of Agataka 25 minutes. This practice, known as Najakakotu, continued until the early 15th century, much like of the early historical period Cheras. Shara rulers of Kodungalar heavily depended on the spice trade for sustaining their economy. The Shara state had extensive trade relations with regions in the Middle East and China. 
The region acted as connecting hub for the merchants from western and eastern parts of Asia. The important Kerala ports of this period were Panthalayani Kolam, Kodungalar, Kolam, and Visionjam. Arab travellers who visited the Malabar coast during the period have testified to the high degree of economic prosperity achieved from foreign trade. A number of copper plates charters and inscriptions testify to the high importance given to trade guilds. The intimate relations of the Shara rulers and their feudatories with Jews and Christian merchants are seen in Cochin Jewish copper plate c. 1000 AD and Theresa Pali copper plates c. 849 AD. See also Chola dynasty Pandya dynasty Notes <laughs>